What up guys, it's your boy, Big Will, back with another Bruce Blitz video, non-copyrighted, we all know, videos are gone, got some strikes, but we back, they're edited, no Bruce Blitz content in the videos, we're just going to talk about them, and get that comment section going again, because that's what I miss most about the videos, was the conversations and interactions I had with you guys. This time, it's going to be Goldberg versus Brock. Excuse me, versus Undertaker. Let's get it. happening people it's your boy big will manute welcome to the videtta army people again shout out to my fam dre mac dre mac show go follow him go follow his podcast just look up dre mac dre mac show podcast dre mac show on youtube follow my fam he hooked that intro up for me and it is badass before we start make sure you smash that like button hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it I need to put some up here so I can be like smash that smash that like button hook your boy up so by popular demand I have found it mr. blitz reacting to the debacle that was Goldberg versus the Undertaker at Superstar Showdown and also I think they talk a little AEW too so I'm just gonna play the whole thing uh, you know how we do with this uh, and let's just let's hear what he got to say for those of y'all that don't know he's done with wrestling now so I don't know this is the first one I've listened to I did the AEW one I didn't do a um, review on it but I listened to it where they was a straight troll. They just shat on the damn event. They, nobody even watched the event. So I don't know if he watched this. Or if he's just going to be going off hearsay. I think this is a back and forth between him and James. Because I think James is still on board with wrestling. And Bruce is so called not. So. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if he watched it. And he's doing an actual review on it. And going to talk about it. Or if he's just going to shit on it again. So I don't know. But um. Woo. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna pause right here. Look, guys. I mean, I love reacting to Bruce Blitz. I know you guys love me hearing him and hear me react to the things he say. But if he's not even actively watching the shows anymore, I mean, are we still gonna do this? I mean, he didn't even watch the show. He has no idea what happened. Of course, we can't trust the word that comes out of his mouth anymore. He's probably lying. But I mean. I'll keep doing them if you guys keep asking for them, but I don't know how good it's going to be, guys. From here, they decided to switch gears to the, uh, the AEW pay-per-view that just happened. So they started talking about that. They went away from the Goldberg Taker and went to AEW. That's what they're talking about now. She liked the he still cares. You can hear it in his voice. He's just upset with the product. He's upset with the product to to the point to where he said, fuck it, I'm done. I'm not going to watch it no more. Um, he even said that he didn't, keep, didn't bring James on the show anymore because James actually does reviews every week. And watches the, and he's not going to watch the product. And I guess MG's done now too. That's surprising because MG was Mr. Wrestling. But you can still hear it in his voice. He still is very passionate about wrestling. But he knows that he can't rant no more. So, and that's what people love his wrestling stuff for, was for his rants. And he can't do that anymore. 
because it's it's too obvious. You know, he says that he was doing a work or whatever. Regardless of that, you can hear it in his voice. He's upset with how the, the product is. But I bet he, he watches it on the sly, man. You ain't fooling me, bro. Now, at this point, I was thinking he pretty much just turned the wrestling angle of his show over to James. Because James seems to be the only one actively still involved because of what he does at Seth Rollins' school. Because they're both from Iowa. That's what I was thinking from here. Because they obviously are completely disconnected from the product right now. And so they count on James to keep them up to date on what's going on. And he seems a little flustered having that position. You know, he seemed a little timid on the mic when he's the vocal point of the information being debbied out. That's my opinion. And it's not your job anymore, Bruce. That's why I don't, I'm not understanding. If you're done, bro, be done. You got so much other stuff to talk about on your site. You know? I'm not saying that as somebody who who's doing reactions to his videos and I would, I would like it because I can use it as content also. But if you're done, bro, be done. If you're not watching the product, you don't care about the product. Why are you still in his like eight hour freaking live streams that he does? He he splices just like he's like you like like like. Like a hockey report or a golf report or a tennis report. Oh, and by the way, this happened on Raw. Blah blah blah. This happened. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Then he moves on. Oh, and this happened on that pay per view. Da, 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 da. He's reading, or he may bring one of the other guys on who may say something. He's oh, how was that? Yeah, what was that? Oh, that's, that was that sucks. What was it? Oh yeah, no. Okay. Anyway, and he goes back to the rest of the. And this is like a six, seven, eight hour live stream. And he like ho hums the wrestling part of it, which means he does not give a shit about the wrestling anymore. So why are you still doing it? Just stop. Just stop, bro. And that's coming from me, who like who wants you to do it so I can react to it. But bro, just stop. Stop doing it. Don't do it no more. Yeah, for someone who seems to be completely and totally done, the show seems to have quite a bit to say about certain topics. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this is at the point where he was completely done. He's supposedly everything he knows now he gets from other people. You know. But that's what point we are right now. But uh, we all know how I feel about that. You know. We'll see. Hey. See? He was lying. He made it sound like he whole hummed it. But now he's going in depth to a certain part of it. Which lets me to believe. You don't just. Because that wasn't like. You had to really listen to that interview. Unless somebody gave you a timestamp to, to get to the part he's talking about. He'd listen to the damn interview. Alright guys, I'm done. Because, I mean, I like James. And kudos to him for still um, coming on that show. When he's actively, you know, apparently he got inside information with Seth. Yeah, apparently, apparently James went to Seth's school and now he's actively involved at the school. So that's the insider information he has. And it looks like Bruce was trying to pump him for tidbits for content. And that, that what was going on, that kind of drug on, and I was kind of tired of it. So I ended it. I didn't know that. I didn't know James was that cool with Seth. And um, he still, he must got like a little, little side gig where he actually is probably getting paid for reviewing wrestling and staying, keeping it probably a magazine or something. He, he's doing something in the business now kudos to james and props to him for still coming on the show when bruce is on this bullshit but we are here to listen to bruce and you know, nothing against james but um i mean if you guys want me to still play some stuff like that when he's pretty much just giving the floor to james because he's not watching the, the, pro the program he didn't watch anything of it he's read or probably saw clips or listened to podcasts that's all he does so but um so there it is uh, I was kind of disappointed. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this to Stone Cold, piece of trash, because uh, I mean, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Bruce to, like, go off about it, about them killing each other, but he didn't watch it. He apparently hasn't even seen any clips about it, didn't go on the Internet and look for it or nothing. So, I mean, damn, that was kind of disappointing, but... uh. I'm gonna keep trying, guys. Maybe he'll um 
He'll give us some some more goodies one day. I'll keep my ear to the grindstone and see if I can catch one where he actually did watch what happened. I mean, surely one of these pay-per-views he's going to check it out or something. Because if he's just going to be just re be rehashing what he's heard and giving the floor to his other guys that still do it while he goes take a shit or go make a sandwich or something, I'm probably not going to do him anymore, to be honest. Because, I mean, he needs to stop. Just take the wrestling part of it off your freaking, uh, your network. Don't review it anymore. Don't talk about it anymore if you're not going to really do it. But um, hit the like button, subscribe, share, hook your boy up, hit me in that comment section. Let me know what you guys think like you always do on these videos. You know, I'll try to respond back to everybody's comments, give you my input on what you guys say. You guys know I always do that. We'll continue to do it with this one. Don't know how this one's going to go. We'll see, but this was kind of... If this is where he's at now on his reviews when it comes to wrestling, guys, that's horrible. Horrible. But um, hit me on my social media, you know. Boot, boot, boot. Like button, subscribe, share. Until next time, guys. Peace, hair grease, and everything like that. Vendetta Army.